Well, World Mental Health Day was yesterday, and so I'm excited to be having a conversation with Alexandra Field from Children's Home Society, Florida. And uh, you're here to tell us about opportunities that parents and young people can uh, take advantage of to, I mean, improve their mental health on many levels, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, so World Mental Health Day was yesterday. So, you know, I want to talk about spreading some awareness about mental health needs, as well as um, just having a general conversation about mental health, um, because, you know, there is still a little bit of a stigma about it, but it's a very real thing. Um, so the theme for World Mental Health Day was specifically mental health in an unequal world. So, um <laughs> that really resonates with our area um, because in Florida, we're actually ranked 40th out of uh, 50 in the United States for uh, not having great access to mental health services or insurance, which of course affects our families, it affects the children, it affects parents, um, individuals uh, across the board. We talked about the stigma and People are like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. But now people are opening up like yes. we should talk about it. And now the people that are like, oh, I'm ready to talk about it. It's like bigger than many of us even imagined, especially when it comes to kids. Kids are really feeling the brunt of things right now. Yeah, absolutely. And especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, you know, we've continued to see increases in symptoms of depression, symptoms of anxiety. And we're seeing that on, not only with the kids, but also with their parents. Um, so we're looking at ways that we can continue to make sure that people have access to services across the board. Uh, can you give me like a couple of examples of some of the services and that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. So Children's Home Society, I oversee um, our counseling programs as well as mental health case management services. Um, so we do have therapists who go out into the community, um, really try to meet families where they are. So they could uh, see the children or adults um, in the school, in uh, the community, in their home setting, or even through telehealth. Um, and then we also have the mental health case management. So what that means is, say maybe you have a child um, who has already been involved with counseling, and maybe that's not quite um, helping out as much as needed. So those case managers can, can work with the whole family as a unit to connect them with anything else resource-wise in the community. So that could be something related to housing. It could be something related to financial support for bills. It could be um, connecting them with a behavior analyst if a child is having behavior concerns or other services like that. How important is it that one, these services are available and that two, people actively take advantage of? With the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen more and more families fall into or be driven into poverty. Um, and we're seeing more, well, we're not seeing, but we know that folks who are living in poverty have higher rates of mental health um, needs, as well as just general health needs that are not always being met. Um, children in poverty are actually three times more likely to experience mental health diagnoses. I'd love to talk a little bit more about the Family Support Warm Line. Um, so it was actually created when, shortly after the pandemic started um, because we did have families that we realized were not getting access to services that they need. And so this is a free and confidential way for folks to reach out just through a phone call or a text um, to be able to talk to a trauma-informed counselor. Uh, like I said, it's free. <laughs> so if anyone needs to reach out, they can. It doesn't have to be a crisis. It could just be a moment that you need some support. Um, and the counselors that you talk to on the Family Support Warm Line can also assist in connecting you with those services if you need more ongoing. All right. I like that as well. That's really good information I have. So thanks for spending some time with us today. And uh, yeah, thank you for doing what you do to help our community. Thank you so much.